And Skip has been waiting all morning for this topic for the fifth season. ESPN.com is ranking the best players in the NBA heading into the NBA season. And the 25th through 21st players were revealed on Wednesday. Let me read those to you. Number 25, DeAndre Jordan, followed by Al Horford. At 23 is Tim Duncan, then Chris Bosh. In 21 is Kevin Love. Kevin Love is ranked ahead of Tim Duncan. By two spots. Skip Bayless, go. Sick him. Stephen A. Smith, I'm going to put my seatbelt here on, put my right seatbelt on my seat here, and, and I'm going to remind our viewers that was it last week, maybe the week before, also, we debated the rankings by this. What I reminded you of an esteemed panel of our ESPN <laughs> colleagues, more than 100 of them, writers and editors and analysts, who ranked Kobe Bryant 93 and Dwayne Wade 46. And, and you were just all over this panel. I said, be careful here, be careful. These are your colleagues, highly respected colleagues. And now I'm wondering today, who are these people and what are they trying to do to Tim Duncan? This is the biggest joke in the history of jokes, that Kevin Love would be ranked two slots ahead of the, the great Tim Duncan. I mean, we just talked about Tom Brady. Listen, Tim Duncan is in the echelon. He's somewhere in the discussion. I'm comparing apples to oranges, uh -huh. but with Tom Brady. Tim Duncan, by the way, Stephen A. Smith, had one of his greatest years ever last year when he was the best player on my very talented San Antonio Spurs. Meanwhile, Kevin Love, who had toiled in the shadows in, in Minnesota for year after year, six years there, been a star on a bad team. And it was a bad team because he couldn't lift it into the playoffs one time. And I realized he averaged 19 and 12 when he was in Minnesota. And last year for the Cleveland Cavaliers in his first year, he averaged 16 and 10. I'm here to remind you that 16 times last year, Kevin Love did not play in the fourth quarter by the choice of his coach. 16 times. His coach said, we don't need you in the fourth quarter. And I'm assuming between the lines he's saying because you can be a little bit of a liability because you're not the clutchest guy. And the reputation of Kevin Love in Minneapolis was he didn't always want to take and certainly make the big shots at the big moments, not that they had that many, but any of the big late shots in regular season games was not Kevin Love's forte. And need I remind you about this thing called playing defense? Kevin Love has never played any defense. They tried to get him to play a little bit last year, while Tim Duncan remained last year at age 38 the best rim protector in all of basketball. You, we could argue this all day and all night. I watch every game. Nobody guards the rim better than Tim Duncan. No jumping Tim Duncan. No dunking Tim Duncan. But he is so skilled, so savvy, so, so smart in his anticipation with his incredible length. He will still change and block so many shots at the rim. He was masterful last year. He was the leader of this team, yes. both as, as a performer and in the locker room and obviously in the huddles. He's as important to this team as Coach Pop is on, on an intangible level. He's it, man. He's the reason I'm going to pick the Spurs again. Obviously, they've added LaMarcus. LaMarcus wanted to play with Tim Duncan. He didn't want to play with Kevin Love. He wants to play with Tim Duncan. How could you? It's, it's so disrespectful to Tim Duncan that you would rank somebody who's never proven a thing in this league, Kevin Love, two slots ahead of him. You can talk stats all you want. My eyes tell me that this is laughable and, and the all-time insult to an all-time great player who clearly has five rings. And God knows I could go on and on about all of his accolades. They don't matter anymore because I'm talking right here, right now. Who do I want on my team? Tim Duncan or Kevin Love? Seriously, who are you going to pick in Rucker Park? I'm going to pick Tim Duncan and I'm going to beat your butt if you take Kevin Love. I'm going to scorch your butt. I'm going to run you off the floor with Tim Duncan because you won't be able to score in the lane on Tim Duncan. <sighs> I have unleashed and I feel better. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much I'm for letting me do that. I'm glad you got that off your chest. <clears throat> Last time we saw Tim Duncan, First thing was game two after they had lost game one by 15 to the Clippers in the first round. Second game, that age-old dinosaur known as Tim Duncan had dropped 28 and 11 on the Los Angeles Clippers. They won that game by four in Los Angeles. That game seven, 
back at the Staples Center. Thank you. Where Chris Paul drove into the lane mm -hmm. and hit that bank shot to win that first round series, which is one of the biggest wins in Clippers history. Tim Duncan walked off the court as San Antonio's best player, having scored 27 points, 11 rebounds. What was it on 11 of 17 shooting from the field? This is what he has done. When he's rested the last five games, whereas Kevin Love had to sit out due to injury, Tim Duncan, considerably older, particularly in NBA lore, this guy missed five games last year, all due to rest. Voted to his 15th All-Star appearance. He's a five-time champion, mind you. The, the, considering the things that this man has done in his career, it is an absolute travesty that these folks with this poll, who, by the way, I still don't know who they are, and maybe that is a good thing. <laughs> um, the, the reality is, is that it makes no sense whatsoever. If you know anything about the game of basketball, Tim Duncan, he's not the same player anymore with his back to the basket, Skip. He's an average post player in some people's eyes, but he's incredible off the pick and roll. Uh, obviously, is a defensive presence. He's elite. Uh, a rebounder, particularly in traffic, he's elite. Uh, this guy can still do it all. His footwork is impeccable. He knows what he's doing. He's incredibly savvy. Kevin Love is not in Tim Duncan's class. Kevin Love can play. Kevin Love can ball. Kevin Love can certainly shoot three-pointers. But at this juncture, considering his bevy of injuries, one would call Kevin Love simply a spot-up shooter in this day that's and correct. age. And that's just about it, which is one of the biggest reasons why Tristan Thompson was raising holy hell yep. about getting his money and I congratulating agree. him <clears throat> for finally getting that five-year, $82 million deal. The reality is, is that you need Kevin Love if you're LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers, and it's not to treat Kevin Love like he can't play, because he can play, Skip. He's a really good player, I'll and he's a very good shooter. Yep. He's just not in the same class nope. as Tim Duncan. Not in skill, not in IQ on the basketball court, and clearly not in accomplishments. So I don't know what the hell this 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 dot-com staff or individuals <laughs> were thinking, yeah. uh, but once again, Rather than in, 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 in bloviate and, and, and get all demonstrative and bombastic and all of that, I will simply end by saying this. I have absolutely, positively no connection to the folks conducting this poll whatsoever. Even if they are ESPN, it has nothing to do with me. I disavow any connection with them whatsoever with some of the names that they've put in elevated positions compared to some of the names they've diminished. Tim Duncan at 23, D. Wade at 46, Kobe Bryant at 93. It's downright embarrassing. Thank you for saying that. Now that Stephen Naismith has spoken, mm, I feel, feel valida validated, yes. vindicated, <laughs> um, empowered, mm. and I'm going to piggyback on your point about game seven at Staples against the Clippers. It was Chris Paul's, really, his coming out party in the playoffs. It was the best fourth quarter. Obviously, came back from his, his hamstring pull. But Tim Duncan was special down the stretch in that game. And after he got called from what I, for what I thought was a bogus foul, remember, where he jumped and, and caught himself a little bit and barely bumped into Chris Paul after he had shot the ball, after the ball was up in the air. And they called a foul. Chris Paul made his two free throws to put the Clippers ahead by two. Tim Duncan goes right down to the other end, gets fouled, steps right to the line. He's never been the greatest free throw shooter, although he made 74% last year, which is pretty great. And he made two huge clutch free throws, nine seconds left to tie that game, which led to the shot. That shot from heaven where, where Chris Paul shot it up into the rafters. Guess he shot it over. Tim Duncan came completely off his man, DeAndre, all the way down to the baseline to almost block that shot and Chris Paul had to arch it up into the rafters and it kissed off the glass and fell. Way to go Clippers, you deserved it. You knocked off the Spurs game seven. But listen, Tim Duncan is still, he's so special as a passer. He averaged three assists last year. No better passing big man in basketball. So Kevin Love is not a passer. Mm -hmm. He's not a defender. He's not a rim protector. He's never led a successful team. No, he's, uh, clearly, and, and he's not even a fourth quarter player. I think I just closed my case. Thank you. You did. You did.
Case closed. Moving on, a little NFL action to get into. The defending NFC champions have lost four of six games this season, so can Seattle right the ship? We need to get Mark Schlereth for this one, our former Super Bowl champ, to help this conversation. Seahawks, that's next. Ouch. Hello, Mark. In college, more than 100 of them, writers and editors and analysts who ranked Kobe Bryant 93 and Dwayne Wade 46, and, and you were just all over this panel. I said, be careful here, be careful. These are your colleagues, highly respected colleagues. And now I'm wondering today, who are these people and what are they trying to do to Tim Duncan? This is the biggest joke in the history of jokes that Kevin Love would be ranked two slots ahead of the, the great Tim Duncan. I mean, we just talked about Tom Brady. Listen, Tim Duncan is in the echelon. He's somewhere in the discussion. I'm comparing apples to oranges, uh -huh. but with Tom Brady. Tim Duncan, by the way, Stephen A. Smith, had one of his greatest years ever last year when he was the best player on my very talented San Antonio Spurs. Meanwhile, Kevin Love, who had toiled in the shadows in, in Minnesota for year after year, six years there, been a star on a bad team. And it was a bad team because he couldn't lift it into the playoffs. Skip has been waiting all morning for this topic for the fifth season. ESPN.com is ranking the best players in the NBA heading into the NBA season. And the 25th through 21st players were revealed on Wednesday. Let me read those to you. Number 25, DeAndre Jordan, followed by Al Horford. At 23 is Tim Duncan then Chris Bosch in 21 is Kevin Love. Kevin Love is ranked ahead of Tim Duncan. By two spots. Skip Bayless, go. Sick him. Stephen A. Smith, I'm going to put my seatbelt <laughs> here on. Stephen A. Smith's face is great right now. on my seat here. And, and I'm going to remind <laughs> our viewers that was it last week, maybe the week before also, we debated the rankings by this, what I reminded you of, an esteemed panel of our 